Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Ruby and today we are continuing our journey through educational psychology by diving into Spearman's two-factor theory of intelligence. Before we start, if you are new here, please remember to subscribe to RB Insights and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more videos like this one. We have been covering a lot of important psychological theories and this is the 16th class in our educational psychology series. You can find all previous classes in the description below or in the educational psychology playlist. Now, in today's class, we are going to talk about Charles Spearman, the man behind the two-factor theory. Explore his revolutionary ideas about how our mind processes information. We will also discuss its educational implications, which is very important from the exam point of view. Now, let's get started. Charles Edward Spearman was born in 1863 in London, England. He was an influential British psychologist and a major figure in the study of human intelligence. Spearman was originally a military officer, but his deep interest in understanding the nature of intelligence led him to pursue a career in psychology. After receiving his PhD in 1906 from the University of Leipzig under the guidance of the famous psychologist Wilhelm Wundt, Spearman made groundbreaking contributions to psychology. His most notable achievement was the two-factor theory of intelligence, which he introduced in 1904. This theory set the stage for how we think about intelligence today, influencing modern IQ tests and cognitive research. Spearman wasn't just a theorist, he was also a pioneer in factor analysis, a statistical method he developed to study the relationship between different cognitive abilities. His work was widely recognized and he was elected as a fellow at the Royal Society in 1928. He continued to work and publish research papers throughout his career, contributing immensely to our understanding of human mental abilities until his death in 1945. Now that we know about Charles Spearman, let us understand his two-factor theory of intelligence in more simple words. So this theory basically proposes that Intelligence is made up of two distinct factors, the general intelligence and specific abilities. Spearman believed that every individual has a G factor. The G stands for general intelligence. This is like the brain's core engine, the mental energy of power that influences how we perform across variety of tasks from solving puzzles to understanding complex ideas. The G is basically called general because it applies to every type of mental activity. It is what gives us the ability to reason, solve problems and think logically. For example, whether you're solving a math equation, reading a book or playing chess, the G factor is working in the background, helping you think critically and analyze information. In simpler terms, it is the mental foundation that supports all kind of learning and thinking. The G stands for general because Spearman notices that people who do well in one area of mental ability, like math, tend to do well in other areas, like verbal reasoning. This suggested to him that there is a common underlying cognitive ability influencing all these tasks hence the term general intelligence. Next is the S factor. While the G factor covers general mental ability, Spearman also identified S factor, which are specific abilities tied to particular tasks. For example, someone might be really good at mathematics, but not as strong in language. That difference is due to specific abilities or S factors. These S factors are unique to particular domains. For example, one person might have a high S for music, which means they excel in musical tasks, while another person might have a high S for physical activities like sports. 
The S factor is called specific because it is tied to particular skills or knowledge areas, unlike the general mental power that applies to all tasks. Now thinking about this theory, imagine the G factor as the overall power source of a computer and the S factor as the different software programs installed in it. Each program or the S factor has its own specialized purpose, but they all depend on the G factor, that is the computer, to function effectively. The Spearman's two-factor theory offers valuable insights for educators. Let us understand them one by one. Number one, individualized learning. Since everyone has a different level of general intelligence and specific abilities, teaching strategies should account for individual strengths and weaknesses. For example, some students might excel in math, high S factor, while others do well in language, which is also another S factor. Point number two, balanced curriculum. Schools should focus on developing both general intelligence and specific abilities. While foundational skills like reading and problem solving can be taught to all, specialized subjects should cater to specific talents. Point number three, assessment and testing. Spearman's theory suggests that students' performance should be evaluated both on overall intellectual ability, which is the G factor, and specific abilities. This way, we can identify both general cognitive strengths and individual areas of expertise. Point number four, holistic education. Teachers should focus on the development of broad cognitive skills, the G factor, such as critical thinking and problem solving, while also nurturing individual talents, S factor, like music, art, or technical skills. Point number five, Enrichment programs. Schools can create enrichment programs that help boost specific abilities. For example, students strong in math could join advanced math clubs, while students with high verbal skills could participate in debate teams. Point number six, career guidance. Understanding a student's specific abilities can help in providing career advice that aligns with their strengths. For example, a student with high S factor in artistic skills might be encouraged to pursue a career in design or fine arts, while someone with a high S factor in analytical thinking might be guided towards engineering or science. So that was all on today's class on Spearman's two-factor theory of intelligence. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about this video and if you have any question about this theory. You can also mention in the comment section topics of education subject that you would want me to cover for the upcoming classes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next class.